Hi guys, how are you all today morning? Today is 17th July 2022. Good morning. My name is T.S.V. Raghavan and I live in Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. I am a published author with Amazon Kindle and paperback. I write on spiritualism, fiction and assorted subjects. Spiritualism happens to be my favorite subject. This is my spiritual vlog on YouTube, Haribol TRSV Nectar, N-E-C-T-A-R Nectar. In this particular vlog, we have been discussing about information, thoughts, views, opinions, etc. that we gleaned from our continuous contemplation on material world and meditation on the spiritual world. Even in this particular video, we shall be continuing this process. Till now, we know about how the, our forefathers distributed this society of 70% of humanity according to its mode of material nature in four different castes and subcastes. Now, with the passage of time, things have changed, but spiritualism remains the same. How we discussed about self-realization is Etheric senses and liberation is astral mind and deliverance is causal body. We all know that in the process of self-realization, unless and until a person, a living human entity, realizes his own self in the material world and he or she completes working out all his or her karma or destiny in this material world, he or she cannot proceed towards self-realization and spiritualism. Actually, spiritualism is a gift that comes to a human living entity according to his or her destiny or karma. Spiritualism is a particular window in this material world through which a person can look into the spiritual world. But even this happens by chance only according to the destiny and karma of that particular person. This is a gift and attraction towards this window is a very lucky thing to happen. But we should know that once a person gets attracted to this window of spiritualism, things begin happening very, very slowly, 
gradually but regularly once a person gets attracted towards this contemplation and meditation of by looking within he or she begins enjoying every drop every step of this particular journey birth after birth death after death meaning that once a person is attracted towards it its attraction does not stop with the death of that particular person in that particular life for example the seed for spiritualism is sown in this particular life now it will remain there dormant inside the earth for some time then it will begin eating this can happen in this life or it may continue in the next life the spiritualistic people tree that grows within a particular human living entity happens through various births and deaths ultimately the person goes towards self realization but i would hasten to add that unless and until a person's all material karma has been worked out the person cannot proceed towards self realization i can give you an example of about this matter bhishma pitama the very noble soul of mahabharata had to live for 150 years to work out all his karmas despite the fact that this was going to be his last birth according to his destiny lord bhishma had not committed any sin in the past 100 births and so destiny had given this gift to him that this would be his last birth in a gross body in this lifetime however before proceeding towards other births in subtle bodies in etheric bodies he had to work out all his karma of all his births from the moment his soul's destiny started precisely that was the reason why he had to live on a bed of thorns which was very painful because he had committed a sin long back this is the lesson to all of us we must contemplate into our material world look within find out what we are what we were and what we will be in this material world then go through various phases where our past karma would be worked out we must make sure that we do not exist uh, we do not add the way any weight into the existing karma into the already existing karma that means that we must make sure that once we are attracted to spiritualism and we start it by contemplating into our material life within we must not do anything that is recorded by the various memories of our psyche we must not do anything so that 
we may have to come here again in this gross body to work out that particular karma. Once this material thing is over and we are freed from taking birth in this gross body, we go into etheric senses. Henceforth, we will be taking birth into only the etheric senses. When we were contemplating, you may say it is like nursery or schooling. When we reach etheric senses, we decide on self-realization or the germs for self-realization have already been sown in the gross body and they germinate and fructify in our etheric senses. This is our graduation. After this, once we are self-realized in the etheric senses, we concentrate on liberation through our next birth in astral mind of feelings and emotions. After being there for several years and getting liberated ultimately, we will go into the causal intelligence for deliverance. Once we are in the causal intelligence category, we spend a lot of time in meditation and reading and study and contemplating on God so that we are delivered. And once we are delivered, we come to our true identity as the soul. Initially, when we donned these subtle and gross bodies, we had started as a spiritual spark. But after all this exercise, this particular spiritual spark has turned into a soul, a spiritual soul. And then after that, it is just a matter of time and endeavor that this particular soul joins the super soul just like the spiritual spark had come out of the spiritual hole long back and now it has turned into a soul and it will go and mix or join with the super soul. This is very, very important for every student of spiritualism. Kindly let me know what you think of my talk on this matter. Please give me your own priceless opinions, ideas and thoughts on this matter so that we join everything together collectively and benefit with the what result of that particular mixture. It is very good and very important for every human living entity in this society. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that I can keep reminding you of my other videos. Till we meet next time in my other video, it is good morning from TSV Raghavan.